This box at the bottom is a box full of my tumblers. Hello everyone, I am back. This is part two, I think, or part three of my starting my own business journey. I'm very confident that this time it will turn out right. I received three more packages of the products that I sell. Here's the thing that I have to convince myself. This was convincing me. The fact that I ordered a ton of tumblers, a ton of cups, and all the other products that I need. I have no choice but to make this work. Like, I literally have to stay consistent. And let me show you what I got. I don't know what this is yet. I did not open the package. I'm pretty sure it is my heat press. It says heat machine right on it and it's from Timo. And then I have my huge box of tumblers down there. The seams are perfect. Oh, it's like a new. Oh, this is my favorite. Should be having bigger scissors than this, but it is working with what I got. Whoa, much smaller than I expected, but let's see them. Oh, they are nice. They're exactly what I expected. And then it comes with what I wanted, the hand stainless steel. Oh, they're nice. Okay. That's the They're exactly what I expected. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. y'all oh my gosh and here's the thing about the products that I that I'm working on that I'm selling and I'm ordering I've always wanted like the first times I messed up when I started my own business I brought products that I felt like was just fun to, I mean I just sold it because it was something that other people were selling but that's it wasn't even what I wanted to sell now I'm making my own creations I ordered my own products what I think is best but not only what I think is best, but things that I would use in real life. These bottles, I use in real life. Oh, these are so much. I'm just so happy. And it's not like super orange. It's like, oh, they are so pretty. And like, I'm going, I'm inspecting them and they look good. gosh these colors are so pretty like this whole blush look has been my new favorite look and I'm loving it I'm loving it oh my gosh I'm loving it so much it's so pretty bro this box at the bottom is a box full of my tumblers I believe 20 of each of everything so I have four different designs of every um, color each of the tumblers come with straws this is the blue color it is so pretty they are 40 ounces each they are in perfect condition um, this part is so just aligned it's just so straight that's the biggest thing I was looking for and these are sealed on to the cup that's what I really like about it every time I do this my hands ashy I keep washing my hands before I do this thing I don't know why this one is my favorite one just because green is my favorite color <laughs> my whole room is like made out of green it's always been my favorite color since I was a blood clot so yes this is the green color it's so pretty I cannot wait to put my designs on it. Pink. Pink is also my favorite color. As you can see, <laughs> what? Bro, and I'm literally wearing blush pink today. Well, you can barely see it. I love pink so much. This is the nude color. And nude goes with everything. Who don't like nude? Nude goes with pink. Nude go with black. Nude go with brown. Nude go with white. Nude go with white. New go with gray. New go with green. New goes with everything. The straw part is aligned. 
is even. It goes this way while the handle is this way. Y'all literally don't understand. I'm literally so happy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I, I don't know, I, just when I'm home alone, I feel so much more happier, so much more encouraged. Whenever I think about God or Jesus, it makes me, like, it gives me butterflies. So many mixed reviews on heat pressing. And I was so confused if whether or not I wanted to do heat press or use the Cricut machine. Because the Cricut machine, there's not as many options like a heat press. Which a heat press to me looks like more fun anyways. The heat press. How do I take it out? Eek! I love it. This is kind of like an awkward green. Oh, smells weird. It smells very industrial. Okay. It has grippers at the bottom. It has a latch. Okay, so mine is in good condition. It has a little mark right there, but that's not too bad. Okay, so this video is all about testing out my new product. So. This is going to be this. A lot of these design, the designs for these bottles require one side of the bottle to be printed on anyway, so this one won't be too bad. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so those are good. Now, I'm contemplating about my tumblers. Fudge, y'all. Fudge. I wonder if I can make it work if I go like that. Like, is that possible? I know I'm gonna have to hold that manually, but I don't know if that is a thing. I'm gonna try it, because this is all about testing out this business. Same thing with these. Most of these, only one side have to be heated on. It's only one design that I have where it needs both sides, like the bottom and the top. So, in Jesus' name, this is gonna work out right. Not everything is perfect, so don't think that when you call on Jesus that everything is gonna be perfect the first time. But he always come through, don't forget about that. It may not work out now, but watch. At the end, he gonna end up helping me get another tumbler that's big enough, and it's gonna work. So I'm gonna do a separate video on me actually testing the designs out on my products, just because I don't want this video to be too long. This is just to show you all the products that I have, how they work. I am hoping that my glad, my Libby cups come today because I have one more product. I have more products that has to come, which is the heat tape and some other items. Let's see. And I'm, when I put my little video up of all the designs that I'm using, I'm gonna put like a side image of the design I created and then the design that came out. I cannot wait and I just really hope that excuse you I just really hope that this well I already know it will but you know my human mind don't know I just really hope that this business turn out great and I just hope that it spreads the word to everybody out here in this world to know that Jesus is real why did this like I was about to cry all right so let's see OMG, they gave me testers. Oh. oh, so I have to have a protected paper. They give you protected paper. Okay, right here, it just gives you all the instructions on how many degrees or how long you would keep each type of cup in the heat press. It gives you all the instructions. Oh. Okay. All right, so basically, this cord had an attachment, this piece. You attach to this, turn it on, okay. And then it has lights that's showing how it's heating up. When I get better at this, I'm gonna do a more detailed video of how this works. And, ah, it's getting hot. Okay, off, off, off. Where's the off button? Okay. 
Yes, it is very hot. <laughs> it got hot quick. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Now you all see all the products that I got. And here I have the heat press that I'm gonna show you all how to use. Oh, not even how to use, because I don't know how to use it yet. I'm just gonna show you my journey on how I got it to work. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to look at all the socials in the description box and just follow me throughout my journey on Instagram, Pinterest, this channel, YouTube, and TikTok. Thank you all. Peace.